fantastic. That's a good start. Hello. And you are? Maureen. Oh, Maureen, it's on there, is it? <laughs> Which is like Maureen from? Sunbury. Near here? Near here. How far away? About two or three miles. Is this the first time you've ever been in a TV studio? It is not. It is not? It is not. Oh, are you sound as though you've been in show business? Have you been in show business? I have not. <laughs> you should be a singer with that voice. You've got a Carol Channing sound. I would like to be. Would you? Do you want to do a duet? I wouldn't mind doing a duet. Would you do a duet with me if I can get the band? I would. Well, are you a married lady? I'm not. You haven't got any children? I have. You have? <laughs> <laughs> This is interesting. I'm not sure I want to play this game anymore. I don't want to. We'll take that no further. What is your sporting activities? I ride a bike. You ride a, <laughs> you ride a bike, do you? <laughs> what do you do on a bike? I mean, just pedal. Well, yeah. Where do you pedal? <laughs> this one. Half going tonight. Come here, please. Maureen was going to get you, Dad. She got 42 seconds. Yes, I thought Maureen was going to get me as well. I didn't go all the way, though, did I? You didn't go all the way, no, Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you here. It says here, it's interesting, you're from Sunbury on Thames and you work at tele sales for tinfoil. I mean, what, yes. what, what, what would you... We make tarts. Cases. You make what? Tart cases. <laughs> cases for tarts? Yes. Well, jam, not... you know. Jam oh, jam tarts. tarts. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Jam tarts. Your hobbies are what? Walking. Walking. And riding a bike. Yes. <laughs> you really do ride bike, but it says mountain bike. That's right, yes. Well, what's the difference between an ordinary bike and a mountain Well, you've bike? got a lot more gears in it going up hills. Oh, you, you, you go up hills, do you? And I come down on the other side. You don't want to be stuck up there all no, day. No. You've got to come down exactly. or something. Yeah, it's all right. First question. It runs from West Pakistan to India and is known as the Khyber... Pass. Correct. <laughs> I've always been wanting to do that. <laughs> Somebody pass and get oh. it right. Okey doke. General knowledge. How's your general knowledge? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Is your. If you had grown an iceberg in your garden, <laughs> and I can't see you doing that, boy, with great respect, if you'd grown an iceberg in your garden, yeah. what type of salad ingredient would you have? A lettuce. A lettuce. You would have a lettuce. <laughs> Are you into sport? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> After I've got off my bike. <laughs> <laughs> How about mixed wrestling? Oh, I love it. <laughs> 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 Who did Frank Bruno fight? Oh. And don't say Mrs. Bruno. <laughs> Who did Frank Bruno oh. fight in 1989 for the heavyweight championship of the world? Was it Tyson? It was Frank. Tyson. There you are. <laughs> OK, Maureen. There are the keys. Take your pick. Oh, I'm going to go for number seven. Number seven. Lucky seven. <laughs> A lucky seven, in case you're wondering what is going on, is also the key that will open box 13 tonight, OK? Ooh. And for the benefit of the viewers at home, this is what is contained in box 13 tonight. But I do have box 13 in my pocket. Mm. We put box 7 there. And because I'm now going to bid for two keys, I'm going to up the ante, as they say. I'm going to start <laughs> you off <laughs> at 100 pounds. No. No. You think she should take the money? No. What about 150 pounds? No. I'll give you two hundred pounds. I'll be Three hundred pounds? No. Three hundred pounds. Do you think she should open the box? Yeah. What do you think? Three hundred pounds? No. Three hundred and fifty pounds? No. All right, she's turned down three hundred and fifty pounds, and she's going to open a box. Now, which box? You've got another big decision. That was a big decision. Yeah. You can choose your original box, which was number seven, I believe. That's this one. Or you can take box 13. Yeah. You're going to keep number 13. Yes. 
and you're going to reject number seven. Yes. Sir. Okay, Maureen, you take number seven. We're going to take a walk over here, and we're going to first of all see what you turn down in box number seven. Let me move that. Turn it around. Turn around if you would. Take your side. Don't get shaky. It's all that riding on the bikes made your legs go funny. Okay. No. Right. You've turned down the clockwork. What? The yes. clockwork teeth. I need some myself. The clockwork teeth has been turned down. Got a good teeth. Well, they were. Well, they were made in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, would you just stand there? Because I get to open box 13. Okay. And this is what you've won in box 13 tonight. Mm -hmm. oh. Some little furry dice. Yes. And you were wondering, have I won just some furry dice? <laughs> yes. Well, you have won the furry dice, but you've also won a trip to Las Vegas for two. <laughs> Well, there's our lucky Box 13 winner and a companion are off to Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps. Who knows, they may even win a million, courtesy of Take Your Pick. On top of that, we're going to give you £500 to buy your own mountain bike or gamble, whatever you do. Thank you very much, Maureen. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.